Okay, so they give you, you've got to make an insulator uh, for the back of the br uh, brush holders, and that's going to insulate it from the, um, from this end bell here. So, um, this is just a piece of insulating paper they give you. We have to cut this in half, and then it says to uh, punch a hole that's going to clear these uh, 256 screws. Uh, and that's got to be um, eighth of an inch in from the edge and eighth of an inch up from one of the sides so uh, I, I got my uh, got my divider set for an eighth of an inch and I'm gonna press this up against the edge here and just gonna just scratch a line in there this set up again and once again it's probably getting overkill but uh, and then yeah alright and then uh, pencil here feel that right in there and I'm just gonna just gonna start with poking a hole in that That's right there. Even though it looks like that's closer to the edge, but and uh, let me just do this by feel there. Okay, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna open that up with the. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. All right, maybe I'll just get a small drill bit and I'll just do it with my fingers. Let me come back a bit. just to see what we're doing here um, so that'll so that'll screw in and um, nice try to keep you in the frame here okay and then uh, and then this is to get bent over this gets bent over this way and let's see maybe it okay and then that then that insulates the brush holder from the um, from the end bell. So I believe this gets trimmed off. I'm just going to double check the instructions and um, cut it off and then uh, we'll get these mounted in the end bell. 
let's put this together now and um, hopefully without dropping anything so uh, I'll try to keep everything in the frame here Got these little insulators. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, so those have got to go in from the outside. And okay. Let's get the other guy in there now. going to use this drill bit here kind of lock these in place and then we can tighten these down here then okay and uh, okay so um, okay so now um, let's uh, continue on there was probably we'll get the, the um, probably get the uh, frame back over here and we'll um, see if the paint right on that and um, stop putting this thing together. All right, so here are all the parts. Uh, I got um, got everything all laid out here, ready to go. Um, I think I showed everything, um, with maybe the exception of the pulley and um, this little spacer here, which is a piece of aluminum with a uh, thread in that. Uh, pretty simple operation so I didn't I didn't really uh, uh, videotape that so uh, I'm just gonna we'll put everything together and um, see how it goes All right, so this little guy is done here, and um, next step is we'll get it uh, mounted on the board and hooked up to uh, the steam engine and uh, make a lamp for it. So, uh, all right, all right, we're getting there. All right, so here it is, mounted on the board. You got the little engine running. As you can see, it's like holding any air pressure in that, and it's running good. 
Let me shut the light off. Guys can uh So let's try a little experiment. So this, the, the light bulb, and you guys can see, uh, the LED is barely lit. So I got a voltmeter hooked up, and it's reading just under 3 volts. And this is about as slow as it's going to go. And this don't want to read anything. Oh, here we go. So it's about 380 RPMs and it's just about three volts there. So... Let's see if we can crank up the speed a bit. It's about 500 RPM. It's a little over four volts. Six fifty, nope, seven. About seven hundred RPM. It's just about six volts. Eight hundred RPM. About six and three quarter. the 900 RPM. A little over seven and a half volts. Let's go for a thousand RPM. A little over eight and a half volts. Alright, at 1500, at right, about 1500 RPM, we're getting 12 and a half volts. kick back on so um all right interesting experiment all right another thing I just wanted to point out is um I have a 1000 ohm resistor uh in series with the um with with the LED and that's to limit the current so um you know it, without that resistor uh, the LED would just uh, burn out, uh, burn up. So this is limiting it to 
at 10 volts this would limit it to 10 milliamps so which is fine um, so uh, without that that LED wouldn't really stand a chance that would be uh, that would be gone and um, all right so I think this uh, wraps up this video um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a a separate video on me making this here a lamp um, and this was all made from brass and uh, there's no plans the, the videos just gonna have some some background music um, because um, I really didn't do any talking on it uh, everything was just um, you know by the seat of my pants uh, I just had a kind of design in my head and you know I just uh, just on the lathe I just uh, grabbed some uh, tooling that I had already ground and just put a couple little profiles on it and stuff and um, like I say it was just uh, I just had the camera rolling and uh, I just went with it so um, I'll put a video up um, probably in a day or two um, it's kind of lengthy I'm just gonna speed it up and just uh, you know let it go and like I say uh, there's really no talking in it um, kind of just had my head into doing to doing the job you know so all right hope everybody enjoyed this and um, get making something in the shop again real soon all right, thanks for watching